In the last video, we saw that in general, AB is not BA. And so that means that in general, matrix, algebra, matrix multiplication is not commutative. For some specific matrices, matrices A and B, it happens that AB is equal to BA. In that case, we'll say that uh, matrices commute. So matrices will commute if AB equals BA. And now, um, if A and B commute, then A and B must be square matrices of the same size. All right, so let's prove that. Um, let's say A is an M by N matrix. And let's say B is an, um, let's use R and S, R by S matrix. All right, so we want to use the fact that AB is equal to BA. It looks like a single equation, but it gives us more information. First thing you need is that AB is defined. So if I take A times B, that's going to mean an M by N times an R by S. And so that middle dimension must match. And you get that N equals R. Not only that, but you get that AB is an M by S matrix. Now BA is also defined. And so if I look at what BA is equal to, now I'm going to start with the R by S and the M by N is going to come second. That middle dimension must um, match. So S equals M and BA is an R by N matrix. Finally, AB is equal to BA. Well, that means at the very least, they must have the same size. And then you have other conditions about their entries being equal. So AB is an M by N. So M by N, that's uh, M by S, sorry. AB is an M by S. Um, BA is an R by N, so M must be equal to R and S must be equal to N. All right, so we end up with tons of conditions, but if you follow them around, it tells you that N equals R, R equals M, M equals S, and so we end up with AB are both N by N matrices. So exactly the same size, and that size is squared. All right, so let's do this example. Example 4.3.2, I'm asked to find all matrices that commute with this specific matrix A. Let me give that matrix a name. So find all matrices B that commute with A, which is 1, 3, 2, 8. And um, by the last proposition that we just proved, we know that if they commute, they must be squared of the same size. So A is squared, that's good, otherwise, well, I don't know if it's good, otherwise would be done. <laughs> but um, A is a two by two, so B must be a two by two as well. So by um, proposition 4.4.1, then B is a two by two. Let's call its entries A, B, C, D. All right, so we want A, B to be equal to B, A, so A, B, is 1, 3, 2, 8 times A, B, C, D. So we'll be looking at the rows here and the columns here when we take the product. So the first one is A times 1 plus 3 times C. 
second entries B plus 3D, then we have 2A plus 8C, and 2B plus 8D. Then when I look at BA, I'm going to be switching these matrices. And notice that um, commuting is not trivial because now I'm not looking at the same vectors at all, right? For A, I'm looking at 1, 2, 3, 8. I'm no longer looking at 1, 3, and 2, 8. The same thing for B, I'm looking at different vectors. That's why it's not, it's a bit, it's hard for matrices to commute you're looking at two completely different products. So 3A plus 8B, I get C plus 2D and 3C plus 8D. So we want these two matrices to be equal. They're the same size, they're both two by two, and so all we need is to make sure the entries are the same. So here's the system we'll get we'll get the first entry should be the same. So A plus 3C is equal to A plus 2B. The second one will be the same. So B plus 3D equals 3A plus 8B. Then 2A plus 8C equals C plus 2D. And we get 2B plus 8D equals 3C plus 8 D. So this is a linear system. Um, let's put it all the variables on the same side and then we'll be able to put it in a matrix. So I'm getting 0a minus 2b plus 3c plus 0d equals 0. I get minus 3a minus 7b plus 0c plus 3d equal 0. I'm getting 2a um, plus no b minus 7c minus, I get 2d equals 0. And then no a, I get 2b minus 3c and the d's cancel. So here's the system I want to solve. All right, so we've already learned how to solve them. So I'm not going to spend any time reducing it so you just trust me that I have reduced it so zero 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 I'm gonna get the following REF so I have two standard columns and then 2 more messy ones. And so I have two leading coefficients. I have two free variables. And so when I write the system, uh, solution, I'll get that a is minus 7 half s plus t. I'll get that b is 3 half s. I'll get that c is s and d is t. Those were my free variables. And so when I write what b should be equal to, the big B, the matrix, I'll get a is minus 7 half s plus t, 3, sorry, let me bring it a bit lower so it doesn't hit the s and the t, 3, half s, I'll have s and t for any s and t in R, but let me write it in a more interesting way. I'll do the same thing we used to do with vectors, right? I'm going to pull out um, the two constant. I have one, zero, zero, uh, two um, parameters, so I have one, zero, zero, one. I actually have the identity here. That's nice. And then I have this messier matrix. So here, that's the solution for all S and T in 